Yeah. The projects that has been carried out uh, for a couple of last years uh, that's connected with lithic analysis and researches as well as uh, resumption of archaeological survey and excavations with a goal to investigate the first inhabitants in Latvia uh, has called for a need to revise and update our existing knowledge about archaeological finds that could be attributed to the first inhabitants of present-day territory of Latvia. Projectile points as one of the most uh, distinctive uh, tools in lithic collections can be used uh, uh, as important diagnostic factor uh, to determine uh, presence of certain archaeological industry uh, or culture in region. Therefore, the goal of this presentation is to uh, show the lithic uh, projectile points from present-day territory of Latvia that could be uh, that could be dated. Uh, and now I'm saying could be dated to younger Dryas uh, and Priboreal uh, period. Uh, so that correlates with late Paleolithic and early Mesolithic 11th, uh, 9th thousand uh, millennium BC. From this period in Latvia, uh, at the moment, uh, we know 25 sites. Um, however, uh, only 14 uh, were found, in 14 sites were found uh, projectile points. And here I need to say that Till uh, 70s, uh, middle of 70s, we didn't uh, know about Paleolithic at all in territory of Latvia. And for the couple of last years, uh, the count of uh, sites has uh, rise rapidly, mainly because not uh, of discovery of new sites, but uh, rediscovery of uh, finds that already were uh, excavated and collected during the excavations uh, in uh, till 70s, 60s and even earlier of 20th century. So, yes, you can see the site uh, distribution and it's mainly, the all sites are mainly distributed in two uh, basins of the two major rivers. It's Daugava River and Lielupe. Um, the first uh, site that I will talk about is the most uh, rec recognizable uh, late Paleolithic site in Latvia. No doubt, uh, that's uh, Salzburg's Lauk School. Uh, first, uh, flint uh, stray finds there were uh, collected during the rescue excavation in a light Iron Age settlement and burial yard from uh, 1967 uh, uh, till uh, 1972. And during the next two seasons in uh, 1973 and 4, Stone Age excavation team led by Ilga Zagorska joined uh, these uh, Iron Age excavations and discovered and investigated six complete and one uh, disturbed. Uh, uh, flint find con, uh, concentration. At the moment, uh, site. Yeah. Uh, at the moment, site is uh, unavailable as it's uh, under the water. And nevertheless, in Salzburg's log school, uh, together were found uh, 47 projectile points. So here you can see uh, the first uh, Salzburg's log school concentration. Uh, in the first concentration, there were found uh, seven uh, points, all of them. Uh, with a tongue. Uh, together at uh, this concentration there were 377 finds from them uh, 96 tools. Um, so the second concentration uh, consisted uh, three uh, as well tongued uh, projectile points with the tongues uh, and uh, in this uh, concentration totally were found almost 200 finds. The third concentration uh, consisted six uh, projectile points with a tongue, pronounced tongue, uh, except this one. It has less pronounced, but otherwise, according to the way how it has been produced, it's very similar to these ones with the tongues. Um, so, completely here were found six points. Here you can see uh, five only, because one is missing, and uh, nobody knows where it is actually. Sometimes stuff happens in the museums. Um, so the uh, fourth concentration uh, consisted uh, seven uh, projectile points, uh, as you can see. And again, all of them are with the tongues, very pronounced, uh, basically produced in the same uh, way from the same type of uh, um, blades. The, big, the biggest concentration of uh, projectile points were found in a fifth uh, flint concentration place where 
totally were collected uh, more than 400 uh, finds with uh, from them a bit more than 100 were tools yeah the sixth concentration uh, of flint uh, in the sixth concentration of flint there were found eight projectile points again all of them with the pronounced tang um, and uh, five more points were discovered in uh, as straight finds, but uh, if, you if you look at closer to the um, excavation plan, you can see that uh, there is an area where most probably were uh, disturbed one more concentration and uh, the point that's uh, left, on left side comes from that. And uh, this one, which actually don't have tongue uh, and uh, most probably it uh, looks like a lancet type or we call it willow leaf sh uh, shape type point, it has been discovered as straight find and uh, wasn't connected to any of uh, concentrations. So, a uh, majority of points uh, that was discovered in uh, Salzburg's Law School are highly standardized. They are re uh, relatively the same size uh, and uh, latest technological research of uh, site materials done by Inger uh, Berhansen uh, has proved that uh, these finds are connected with the Swedarian technological tradition. Um, as finds were collected in a sand layer, there was no organic uh, preservation. So actually this site hasn't been dated with IMS dating and it seems that uh, it won't be because at the moment we can't uh, get there. So um, fragment of tanked arrowhead uh, and several other flint tools were collected uh, in uh, Spietini Plater site during the excavations uh, in early Middle Iron Age burial mount and settlement site in 1971 and 73. Site by itself uh, was known already from the end of 19th century and first excavation there were carried out already in 1888. Um, all flint finds were found in Iron Age uh, layers, sand layers uh, under the burial mount. You can see that sir, as well, arrowhead with very pronounced tang. So uh, the one more tanged point have been found uh, on the banks of River Lielupe in Mejuotnes Hillfort. Uh, Hillfort is uh, situated uh, on the left uh, bank of river uh, on a 15 meter high cape. Therefore, it has uh, steep slopes uh, on the side of the river. Arrowhead was found uh, in between the layers of uh, late Iron Age, 12th century, in, in uh, 1939 during the excavations carried out by Waldemar Dinters. Um, it's typically tanked arrowhead. Uh, uh, its tip is broken and uh, it was produced from uh, 1.6 uh, centimeters wide blade. That's very close to those blade uh, uh, wide as uh, most of the Salzburg Slope School arrowhead has. Uh, this arrowhead is the only uh, find in this site that could be attribu attributed to this uh, early period. The largest collection of lancet or willow of uh, leaf shaped uh, points that could be attributed to the late Paleolithic and early Mesolithic consists of nine points uh, and it's from Awatini site. Site by itself was discovered in 1991 and in the 93 first excavation there were carried out by Ilga Zagorska. However, uh, all nine uh, points were found in excavations in 2018 and 19, together uh, with uh, almost 300 uh, flint finds. Um, um, as you can see, each point morphologically, it's uh, different. However, almost all of them, except one, this one there, um, have flat retouch uh, on base of, uh, on the ventral side. Um, all other uh, willow uh, leaf, uh, leaf shaped points have been uh, found on the ba uh, banks of Daugava River. Um, so yeah, two uh, with the broken uh, tips, uh, two, two points with the broken tips uh, were found together uh, with around four, 40 other flint finds that could be attributed to the uh, end of Younger Dryas uh, and beginning of Preboreal. Um, were found uh, during the rescue excavations in uh, Selpils Hillfort and settlement site. Both of them uh, have same uh, small side uh, 
retouch on a hafted uh, part and uh, flat retouch on ventral ventral side. As well, the, at the moment, uh, the place uh, partly where these uh, two finds were gathered, uh, it's under the water partly. Uh, and uh, the part which is uh, visible nowadays as an island, it's completely excavated. Um, similar but a little bit longer point uh, together with uh, 11 another including uh, finds, including uh, plates from two opposite platform cores, um, were found uh, around 40 kilometers downstream in excavations of Iron Age burial yard um, at the end of 20, 20s and beginning of 30s of 20th century. Um, all finds were collected in uh, disturbed sand layer between the burials. Um, around six kilometers downstream from Salispil Slough School site was uh, located uh, Rinyukan's Bronze Age settlement uh, and burial ground. Uh, settlement site, uh, it's easy to say settlement site, but actually that was, was, it was a hill fort. Uh, site in 1966 and 67 were excavated by Janis Graudens and together with two and a half thousand bone, stone and bronze artifacts were found 68 flint finds as well. One of, uh, yeah, yeah, one of them uh, uh, is this uh, bone, uh, sorry, point, uh, flint point. Um, two more uh, flint uh, points that could be attributed to the final Paleolithic were discovered not very far, one of them not very far from uh, uh, Salzburg Slough School, but as you see morphologically it's different. As well, one more in a hill fort uh, as straight find uh, yeah, in between the layers of uh, late Iron Age again. Um, so, and uh, in the early Mesolithic, the Swede find complex in present uh, day of Latvia were replaced with the uh, new complex, the Kunda culture, we call it. And from that period, we have like uh, five places where there were uh, found, uh, projectile points were found. The only one which has actually dates is the Zvenieki, uh, lower layer, the, the flint, uh, this flint point, uh, it's uh, dated in a layer, were found in a layer that has been dated uh, uh, the end of 10th and the beginning of uh, 9th millennium BC. All other two, these, these two others uh, were collected as straight finds in 19th century and uh, now it's, uh, and, now, and nowadays they are in uh, Tartu, uh, Tartu, yeah. Um, there are two more, these uh, we could call this pulley type uh, arrowhead uh, were co uh, collected in, uh, during the excavations in the uh, Lake Burtnek region. And uh, two more were discovered in the Daugava River Basin as uh, total straight finds. One of them are Jessica Hillfort. Uh, together with this uh, arrowhead in the same layer, there were a couple of uh, very distinctive and very uh, nice uh, looking uh, Mesolithic uh, finds as well. And one more, most beautiful one, I would sp uh, suppose, this one, were found in Ola in the bog. At the moment, we don't know exact place, uh, but uh, yeah, that's the, for the future. So uh, to sum up everything, uh, in total, at the moment, we have like uh, 50 late Paleolithic tanked points from three sites, 13 uh, wheel of leaf shape points from four sites, two uh, points from two sites that are very tricky, and uh, seven early Mesolithic pulley type uh, points from five sites. Um, and all points are produced from non-local, high quality Cretaceous flint. Uh, in Salzburg Slough School, there are two of them that has been produced from uh, chocolate flint actually. And the thing is that my problem is a chronology because as uh, Thomas said already, we don't have uh, exact datings for this, from the sites. And uh, up till uh, now it was, uh, believe that uh, Kunda culture uh, developed after or from the Swiderians. However, the latest uh, research in Lithuania done by um, Gabriele Gudaitiene Guda, 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 uh, shows that these actually, uh, this transformation uh, and, and late Swiderian cool, uh, 
tradition disappearance or extinction from the uh, third central northern part of Lithuania could happen much later and the main uh, change might have uh, happened in the not final Paleolithic uh, and early Mesolithic transition but later from early Mesolithic to middle it's uh, around uh, 7,900 and 7,800. So and uh, as I told you already there's some, most sites actually could be uh, described as trade finds from places that has been completely excavated and, and at the moment are uh, unavailable or destroyed. So yeah, those are the main problems that we have. So thank you for your attention.